Today's project is a small fixture for holding uh, cutoffs of hex bar stock. Just drilling a bunch of small hole series, pre-drill, followed up by these small drills which are going to be in the corners of the hex. A round end mill can't cut a sharp corner so the holes act as a relief. And here I'm just using a half inch drill to clear out some stock quickly. Then I'm going to follow it up with a 3 16th inch 2 flute to give me the shape I want. This center hole here that I, I just cut, that's just for reference. That's going to be my uh, reference point once the fixture's done and I put it in the machine. And that edge you just saw me cut on the left there, uh, that only serves one purpose and that's when I lay this down to cut the other side, I have a good reference point on that, on that corner. Snug fit, which is about what I want, so that when I, well you'll see how it works. Here it is laid on its side, and we're drilling out the, uh, the holes, through holes for the bolts to go through. And on the back side, uh, where the bolts come out, instead of threading this, because it's aluminum, I want to press in some nuts. Um, I figure that'll help the fixture last longer and keep me from pulling out the aluminum threads. So it's the same process as on the top, but it's just for a, uh, a different size. And of course I ran this and it wasn't until I was done that I realized I had a 3 16th inch end mill in the machine instead of a quarter. So the holes were all too small. Now that we've got it all done up it needs to have a slot down the center so that the uh, the hex can be squeezed once it's put in to hold it in place. I'm sure I've said it before but uh, I really love a horizontal mill. I've read online some people just feel like they're outdated but I use mine almost every day. But now uh, I think I'm going to have to put a slice um, right about here because that's just too much material to try to squeeze. It's just about a half inch. Alright, that should work. So I made these nuts a very slight press fit because I didn't want to lose any or have them fallen out.
Well, so here it is. Let's uh, get it mounted in the machine and give it a try. So here's a bunch of cutoffs that uh, I made in the, in the small turret lathe. Really single operation, just cutting at the length. But I need the edges to be beveled. Actually, it's two operations. It's got a relief on the bottom and then it's cut to length. But you'll see that in a second. And here it is, doing what it's supposed to do. These last two shifted just a little right there. You can see that one. Um, didn't hurt the part, but uh, maybe I just didn't have it tight enough. I don't know. But here it is. Nice finish. It's pretty much exactly what I was looking for. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.